Um, we're just wanting to see because I'm I follow Vedic astrology um, based on my own research and what really resonates with me and, and how it really sits with my spirit. So um, the full moon, which is tomorrow, um, depending on whenever you're seeing this TikTok, giving me a hard time uploading the messages. So you may find this on TikTok or YouTube, but it will be on both platforms, so you don't miss out. Just so you know. But um, anyway, this full moon is. Um, in the sign of Libra if you follow Vedic astrology however if you follow Western it is in the sign of Scorpio so it will be according to Vedic astrology in the sign of Scorpio on the 25th um, which is also the same day that Mercury goes direct <laughs> so yay for that but we do still have the shadow phase that lasts until about May 13th so keep that in mind um, but yeah I hope y'all are all doing well doing your best to stay as aligned and balanced as possible during this time so first card out we do have is slingshot so it feels like some of you um Gemini's have maybe been really worried lately, having a lot of experience and a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of stress, things like that. Maybe some of you might have a nervous tick, okay? Um, it feels like some of you maybe um, have been finding yourself getting upset very quickly or easily, okay? There's something, there is something with that, okay? I'm not saying that you're wrong or your feelings are invalid, but the point is, is that it's happening like that for a reason. It's happening to show you something. It's happening to bring your awareness to something. But what this feels like is this full moon is essentially um, what I was getting at, where I didn't get to finish my thought earlier. This full, the what I'm getting here with these readings is, um, to find out what this full moon is either highlighting for you and or bringing into balance for you okay so what it feels like is for some of you um gemini's who have been finding yourself really stressed out really anxious nervous it feels like some of you i'm getting this energy of like kind of like really not knowing um what's next not knowing where you're going not knowing what's ahead um and i feel like it's for some of you causing a lot of stress some of you may be feeling like you're in a, under a lot of pressure um, but what it feels like is happening here is it's really essentially moving you into the next phase, into the next timeline, into another, like a brand new chapter. For some of you, this could be a whole brand new life, okay? But there are major changes that I feel like are taking place at this time, which yes, they are definitely happening for all of us. But for you in particular, Gemini, the, look, the moon, you see what I'm saying? So it's like, this is what you don't see. So for some of you, it's like, like I said, you've been stressed out because you're, you, you maybe don't see what's ahead. You don't understand maybe fully or completely you don't have clarity about what the fuck is going on but like i said it feels like um you're more so just being asked to be prepared as be as ready as you possibly can you're not going to always know what the next step is especially like you know like i love using this analogy because it always it fits so well when i'm talking about this but it's kind of like when you're driving under the fog right and you know how you're how it's foggy outside you don't a lot of us typically don't pull over unless you absolutely absolutely have to but what do we do though instead right we adjust we adjust our lights, we adjust our headlights, turn them down low, we slow down, our alert, you know, our eyes and our alert, we may turn down the radio to help us really focus, right? We make small adjustments as we can to help us guide us through, but we don't stop driving, right? We go through the fog and next thing you know, before you know it, it's clear, right? So this is what it feels like some of you, Gemini, are being asked to do at this time. So like I said, where some of you have been really finding yourself stressed out, not knowing what the fuck is going on some of you it's showing this full moon is highlighting for some of you where you may be sabotaging your own success your own progress okay and i know that isn't going to sit well with everyone so please only take it if it applies but i'm not here to sugarcoat shit okay i'm here to help you grow to help you succeed and thrive so whatever comes up is why i'm giving it to you so we have the moon with the five of swords and the seven of swords okay two fives here literally <laughs> on top of one another so um let's get an overall outcome for gemini <clears throat> oh, good shit. So, Knight of Wands, okay? It did try to sit in my chair in reverse, but for some of you, this is like, some of you, it's, it's, it's like you're not taking action on something because you don't know that it's, it feels like you don't think it's going to work, okay? Look, the Eight of um, 
pentacles at the bottom, okay? It's like some of you are letting your your fears get the best of you or the, the what you can't see, what is unknown to you right now, kind of keep you from moving forward, okay? Not realizing that what you feel is stressing you out is really trying to be a catapult. It's really trying to catapult you forward. It's really trying to launch you into the next, you know, thing, okay? Um, what for some of you also this full moon is highlighting is, look, you see how in this image, the full moon there, okay? So for some of you, this is really um, highlighting at this time, showing you or trying to bring awareness to where some of you are letting your own limitations stop you, your own you know the the mind games that your that your own head is playing on you making you think that something is worse than what it is or something won't work or you know this is happening but it's really not like you know what i'm saying whatever that might be for some of you that's what's creating the self sabotage is where you know um things that that maybe you've seen you deem as deceptive is maybe really showing you an opportunity to ask yourself where am i deceiving myself i've what i've learned when i find myself not trusting other people it's always an opportunity for me to turn around and ask myself, where am I not trusting myself? Because that's where that starts. Everyone is a mirror as of some aspect of us. So if you find yourself feeling like people around me, I can't trust them, they're being deceptive, what are they lying about? Use that. It's not to say to not to ignore those things, but it is also, like I said, simultaneously, 555 on the timer, an opportunity to ask yourself, where am I lying to myself? What am I ignoring? What am I being sneaky about? What am I being deceptive about? Am I being real or honest with myself, let alone others? You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I feel like that's what this kind of like this full moon is highlighting for you guys. It's showing you where some of you are stressing yourself out. You're letting the own thoughts in your mind hold you back in some type of way, keeping you from taking action, you know, because like I said, this did try to flip on my chair in reverse. So some of you, it's like the passion for something is gone or, you, or you've let your own you know limited mindset or limitations in your mindset keep you from thinking that something will work keep you from you know um going for something that really drives you that really lights you up out of this fear that it won't be successful but little do you know okay we have the six of wands being lifted up being supported being recognized being rewarded for your work for your efforts okay for some of you this is like you know i really i'm passionate about this thing but i don't i can't see how it's going to work i can't see how that's going to make me money right? Some of you, it's not about that. It's not about you needing to see the how. It's about trusting that I'm being guided to do this thing so I know it's going to work out for me regardless. That's what some of you, what the lesson is here. Because look, underneath the eight of pentacles is the justice, okay? Followed by the strength and the six of swords. You see what I'm saying? So it's like whatever it is that you're working on that you find yourself holding back from, it's like your own, it's showing you this full moon is highlighting for you how you're letting your own subconscious beliefs or limitations whatever that you've been kind of like suppressing from the past or from previous experiences or even projected you know thoughts that's holding you back from whatever it is that you're trying that you've been working on or that you've been trying to build on okay <clears throat> but this is what you don't see okay that whatever you've been putting in all of your time energy and effort towards things are about to come back into balance so if you haven't been getting the proper recognition compensation reward or whatever it is for what you've been working on this is your opportunity to stand in your power to stand on your own inner strength and knowing that the scales of karma and justice are going to be balanced out on your behalf things will get easier it will the whatever conflict you've been experiencing right with the five five to the six and this is what's hidden this is underneath the deck so this is what you don't even see that things are about to start getting easier that you can leave these limiting thoughts or these mind games that maybe your head is playing or people around you are playing on yourself you can leave those behind is it going to take your strength and willpower absolutely but that's where, where how balance is restored by you being able to identify, be willing, willing to identify it for what it is, as well as what it's not, okay? So if you feel like you're having that people around you that you can't trust, that are constantly putting you in a state of worry, constantly putting you in a state of unease and making you upset and all these things and worry and fear and doubt and all those things, it's only reflecting back to you where that lies within. And once you can be accountable in that way, that's how you reclaim your power. By being like, okay, thank you. Thank you for showing me how I'm doing that to myself. Let me take care of that and guarantee whoever is in your energy that's giving you that, like reflecting that energy back to you, they'll be gone and you won't have to worry about it. Not only that, all the things you've been working on, all the, the success and the recognition, the rewards and the support that some of you have been really know you deserve, that's when it comes, is when you stop playing the victim, when you stop letting outside influences or your own subconscious beliefs hold you back 
and play mind games with you and, and sabotage your own success and make you think that it won't work or that I'm not good enough or it's not you know creative enough or whatever the, the narrative is. You have that ability to change a story. So this is an opportunity to take whatever is stressing you out and use it as fuel that's trying to push you forward, okay? So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I really hope this was helpful. Um, tough love as always, but always from a, the most loving and pure intended place. So until next time, you guys. Bye.